dark. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get to it. Um, hey guys, uh, welcome to my. T- uh, <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel for uh, my toxic candles. And today I'm just gonna be talking to you guys um, a couple tips to do or not to do when you have your puppies. So yeah, let's get right into it. So um, number one is to you know that the first thing that people tell you to have when you when you breed dogs or when you breed any animal for like little babies, you know, even including you know baby chicks or you know, I'm talking about puppies on this channel, but it's to have a red heat lamp. And there's a fly on my finger. But, um, <clears throat> um, so when you have the, you know, the red heat lamp, um, people tell you to, you know, to have it next to the puppies. But the thing that I can tell you when you have if, um, the heat lamp is to not directly point that heat lamp onto the puppies. So the reason is, is that way so they do not have you know, have a heat stroke because, it, you know, it can be too hot for the puppies. And, um, you know, how to adjust this heat lamp or whatever you got is to, you know, have it really, really far away and direct it onto them. Or um, you can have the heat lamp, you know, not pointing it at them, but, you know, a little bit to the side so they can have some of that heat, uh, you know, kind of near them. So, but, you know, listen to your, your gut feeling, you know, does this feel hot or is this, you know, is, is this feel like, okay, is this room temperature? <clears throat> so, you know, if it's like feeling like 78 or above, it's, it's too hot. You know, you might not even need the, the heat lamp because, um, sometimes, you know, if, when a, when a litter for me comes into the summer, um, you know, and it's hot, you know, and the AC, I don't really need the AC. I turn the AC a little bit on. Sometimes I don't even need to use my heat lamp. So, you know, let's see your gut feeling. Do you need the heat lamp or not? And and number one, don't point the heat lamp at them. You know, if you are, you know, you know, it's during winter, have it far away and point it directly at them, but it has to be far away and listen to your gut. You know, stay there for a little bit. And does it feel okay? If not, you know, have them on with them to, you know, heat heat them up, you know, with her body heat. So, you know, because they can't, you know, produce their own body heat. Um, so, yeah, that's my number one uh, do not rule. So, uh, the second rule that I can say is, speaking of the mom again, and uh, this is with having the mom separated from them, you know, <clears throat> and this is a to-do. When you have the mom and the puppies, do not have the mom with the puppies all the time and you know it might it might seem you know cruel to do that you know if you think about it you know you know our our logic's like uh that's that's terrible for us you know why would you do that you know that's that's animal cruelty or i don't know what to call it emotional abuse you know for the mom or the puppies but um no the reason why i say that is because when you separate the reason why you separate the the mom and the puppies is to you know, ensure you don't have the mom to kill them. You know, it can be intentionally or unintentionally. You know, unintentionally, an example is, you know, the mom sits on the puppies and um, she suffocates them. You know, and, you know, she doesn't know, you know, and, you know, it just could happen. And uh, intentionally is, you know, she could eat the puppy. Um, you know, because the puppy's weak or, you know, all that blah, 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 blah. You, you probably heard of it. But, you know, just just a quick rule of thumb, you know, have the mom separating when you're not, you know, feeding them. And, um, yeah, that's my second rule uh, of uh, do not rule. Um, yeah, uh, third rule. So third rule, I can say, you know, uh, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Um, speaking of the, the heat lamp, when you have the heat lamp, make sure, you know, I recommend to use the color of red. You know, that's my personal preference. Just make sure when you use a, uh, a heat lamp, make sure it's not like the conventional colors of, you know, the houses. Like, I don't know what to say. It, you know, it, it just make sure it's not like the bright where, you know, you look at it, you can see the, you know, the after effect of, I don't know how to explain it. Um, you can see the, the black 
spots into your eyes. Um, just make sure, you know, I, I like to say keep it red. So, um, because, you know, when the puppies get older and, you know, the, art, the eyes start opening around like, you know, one week or one week and a half, you know, they might be, you know, a little curious or nosy and they can look at the lights and, you know, and it could blind them. So, um, yeah, you just don't want blind puppies. So that's my uh, my third tip as of right now. Um, let's see. For my fourth tip, I can say is um, don't have a don't have a lot of people, you know, touch the puppies. You know, you can only have, you know, I can say one or two people that touch the puppies. And the reason why is, you know, you don't want the puppies to be, you know, have new germs all over them, you know, from people and you know, they could cause them to get sick, you know, just just to keep it safe, you know. It's better to be safe than sorry, you know, I can say that. And just make sure, you know, you have to tell them, you know, they're like, oh, I want to touch the puppies. You know, I always have little cousins that come over, you know, they want to touch the puppies. I said, no, you can't touch the puppies, only I can, you know. When they get older, you will. You know, just say it to them, you know, nicely. You know, it's say, you can say, you know, they'll touch the puppies because, you know, they can get sick and die, you know, just... Just say that, you know, they'll, they'll probably understand, hopefully. And, um, yeah, that's my fourth tip. Um, so my fifth tip is to, uh, my fifth do not rule is when you have the puppies that are able to walk now, you know, it could be, I think, three weeks. I don't know. It depends on the breed. I, I breed French boot, uh, Bulldogs ex- exclusively. But um, uh, do, not let the, do not let the puppies run out onto the grass yet. Because, you know, they can still, you know, be have catch diseases, you know. I don't even let my puppies out and touch the grass before they get even the first shots. And that's around about six weeks or so. You know, they get the six shots. Uh, I mean, they get the first shots at their six week, eight week, ten week, twelve week, you know. And I just like to be safe, you know. Um... I've had a story with uh, my uncles um, raising puppies, and um, they had four puppies died, uh, French bulldogs, and yeah, it's it's really sad. You know, it wasn't just uh, not too long ago. You know, they went to the lake and, you know, they caught parvo. And you know how I can explain parvo? Um, it's pretty much like a stomach virus 2.0. If you don't know what it is, that's what I call it, a stomach virus that will that will kill you. It will it will mess you up. But, um, yeah, that's my fifth tip. Make sure you do not have the puppies outside on the grass. They don't even touch the grass, you know, when they even get their first shot. Sometimes, you know, I, or most, you know, now that I think about it, when, oh, fly, when they get their shots, um, I, I wait, you know, two days at least before they can, you know, play outside. You know, yeah, I want the puppies to play outside, you know, because, you know, I love my puppies too. I love my dogs, you know, they're like, you know, they're like my kids. <laughs> I love I actually love him more than my uh than my significant other, my girlfriend. But um <laughs> yeah, you know, I want them to play, you know, and just, you know, have fun. But you know, I want to be safe for them, you know. I love them enough to, you know, I care about them. I don't want them to die and you know, having a couple litters now, about four or five, you know, I'm still relatively new to, you know, to this breeding game, you know. And um, I've been in it, you know, three three years or so now for French Bulldogs. But, um, yeah, I never had a puppy died on me, you know. And I've learned all that from my dad. And, you know, my dad's really good. And my, my dad, you know, he teaches me a lot, you know. That's what I'm grateful about, my, well, you know, with my dad. But, yeah, ne- fifth rule, never have puppies touch the, touch the ground, you know, when they, before they even get their first shots. So yeah, that that is my my five do not rules uh, before you got puppies. But um yeah, I hope you guys you know stay safe and I wish you guys luck when you guys have the puppies. And you know I just want them to make sure they grow big and strong. You know that's that's what it's all about. You know to have puppies and you know see them grow up. You know that's the nice thing about life. But um hey guys. Thank you so much if you guys were uh, watching this video this whole time. And I'm going to be making more videos about these stories or, you know, my tips for uh, my toxic kennels. But, yeah, my name is Matthew, and thank you, guys. Peace out.